Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time around, my name is Trudy. Today I'm going to do a part two of a video that I've done before and it's called my favorite restaurants in Accra, Ghana. I know a lot of you, like my Instagram is full of people that are currently like traveling back to Accra, like traveling back to Ghana to celebrate Christmas and New Year. So yeah, I felt like, okay, this is maybe a good time to actually do a part two of my favorite restaurants in Accra because always when I go back to Accra, I like to try out new places, new hotspots. So today I want to share four new restaurants that are currently my favorite. Favorite. so this is like a part two to the first one so if you haven't seen it click here or click there depends on where it comes but feel free to check out the first one because those are still my favorites as well stick around and also if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and obviously don't forget to subscribe because in 2019 we're doing what this place is getting 2,000 subscribers. So let's go. So the first restaurant that I want to recommend you guys is EXO. It's a pan-Asian restaurant. So you feel like getting sushi, like I'm quite picky when it comes to sushi, like where I get it, like even in the Netherlands, wherever I go, I'm quite picky when it comes to Japanese food. Um, but yeah, in Accra, EXO is a perfect place if you're craving sushi and if you're craving like noodles and all of that, uh, rice dishes, it's delicious. Literally, it's so delicious. Like check the pictures out here. Like I have a few pictures. Doesn't it look yummy? And they serve delicious, delicious cocktails. And for the ones that drink non-alcoholic drinks, they serve delicious mocktails as well. I think I have a few snaps of that. Yeah, it's, it's I think this one was, was with lychee or something like that. It was delicious. Price wise, it's a little bit more pricey than like average, you would say. Yeah, it's worth the money in my opinion. It's worth the money. The service is really on point. The people there are very friendly. The food takes in general, it takes a little bit longer, I feel like. But yeah, to be honest, the food that you get served, it doesn't matter if it takes a little bit longer than usual because the food is really, really good. And their interior is also like contemporary, kind of minimalistic. It's not like over the top. It's just like, it's a chilled place to be. Uh, I usually go there for lunch. I've never been there for dinner, but during lunchtime, like afternoon hours, it's never packed. Like it's usually very, well, quite quiet, I would say. Um, so it's perfect to just sit around, have lunch and yeah, enjoy the food. Like I have a picture of the interior. Like literally, this is so beautiful. Like the rose gold, the metallic, the art touch. Like I really like that place. It's opposite the airport. Like literally it's, I think it's it's just behind the Marina Mall. But anyway, I'll put all the addresses of the restaurants that I'm gonna mention in the description box. But it's literally uh, opposite the Coco Lounge. So if you remember me mentioning the restaurant Coco Lounge in my first video, EXO is opposite Coco Lounge. So the area is called Airport Residential Area actually. So it's so good. It's so good. You should go. So recommendation number two is Sky Bar. When I went to Ghana, when I had my bachelorette, we held it at the Sky Bar Lounge in Accra. I always wanted to go there, but I never I, like always something came up. So I'm so happy that the girls organized the bachelorette for me at the Sky Bar. Literally their food is so, so, so rich. So rich of flavor, it's delicious. Like they take their time, you know, it's it's quite a, a posh place. It's a posh restaurant slash bar, you would say. So they really take their time in the way they serve the food. You can really, they, they pay attention to detail but the, the, the flavors are delicious. They serve prawns, they have like Italian dishes. They have a little bit of everything you would say, but they're all super, super flavorful. When it comes to their drinks, like cocktails and mocktails, it's perfect. You can also create your own, like if you feel like you want to mix up some other stuff that are not on the uh, menu, it's fine with them. You just tell the, you tell the waiters and they will fix it for you. 
Uh, and yeah, to be honest, I think majority of the people go there for the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful panoramic view that you get over Accra. It's beautiful. It's stunning. I've never been there during daytime. I would love to. I went there during nighttime and it's stunning. It's literally beautiful. I have a few pictures here. So yeah, this was uh, this was during the Bachelorette and I loved it. So I went twice while I was in uh, Accra. Twice, twice, it's quite you pay more than you pay way more than average because yeah, as I say, it's one of the you know luxury places in um, in Accra. Bear in mind, during the week you can just roll in without any reservation but during the weekend you can get in without a reservation or if you have like connections i mean like in ghana if you know people you can easily get in but if you don't know people and you're coming in during the weekend and you don't have a reservation booked forget about it you won't get in so bear in mind weekends are reservations only and during the week you can just roll in as you want <laughs> recommendation number three is the counter yes the counter is a burger spot oh god that burger joint is so 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 delicious like i love me some burgers they have a huge menu where you can just really create the burger that you want like the topping from the meat from the bun what the kind of bun that you want like it's it the sauce everything like you can create personalize your own burger from scratch it's delicious and they have delicious size as well they used to be at Accra mall but uh they're no longer there when i was there when i was in ghana like in october november i went back to Accra mall but i they shut down the place then i went onto the internet and apparently they have moved to Palace Mall at Spintex. It's near Flower Pot. Apparently they're they're currently there, but I'm not sure. I didn't go there this time, but that's what I've been reading from the internet. So if you're in Accra and you're craving some serious delicious burger, go to the counter. Seriously, you won't get disappointed. And trust me, they have delicious desserts. Like I tried their brownie. It was I don't have words for it. It was delicious, guys. It was literally delicious. So the last recommendation that I have for you guys, recommendation number four, is Lord of the Rings. So I think maybe a lot of you have heard it because it was quite hype a few years ago. I never went because to be honest, I'm not like a chicken kind of freak. And I, I had that um, KFC kind of branding in my mind for it and like i don't like kfc i don't like a, a huge amount of chicken like it gets me nauseous so i was like like i never had the interest going there but yeah then i was around like i think they they have a few branches so they have one in osu and i think they have one um around labone and i was at the one in labone I always order the club sandwich, guys. The club sandwich <laughs> is next level. Like it's this, it's this tall. It's huge. It's so, like the cheese, the 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 mayo. Like if you're on a diet, don't like don't don't do it. Literally, don't do it. But it's delicious. Like so, yeah. For that one, I went to Lord of the Wings like twice and yeah to be honest it's a, like I haven't tried a lot of dishes from there like I've just tried one and I'm really a fan of that one that even that one dish dish so I think the rest of their menu would be delicious as well but yeah it's a very casual uh, casual place to hang casual place to have dinner it's yeah and the price wise it's okay like I would say it's around like coca lounge price prices like it's not extremely expensive or anything so if you're in a crowd would say swing by lord of the wings and try something out try the club sandwich like if you're gonna try something try that club sandwich yeah so that's it for today guys those were the recommendations for everyone who flew to accra ghana have so much so much fun for the people that are going to ghana for the first time also indulge the culture enjoy the environment enjoy 
everything that you see around you don't let the media fool you just see it with your own eyes experience yourself and yeah create your own judgment of what you think of Ghana like I'm here to promote Ghana because I always say that you won't get to see the good stuff on TV and I'm not saying that there aren't bad things in Ghana but like in every country in the world there are bad things but yeah there are also good things there are beautiful things so why not highlight that as well and yeah that's why I'm here for it so if you want like tips tricks if you have questions come to my channel watch my videos because i have loads of videos on ghana on, and tips and stuff so yeah and also if you like the video hit the like button and you know what to do also subscribe to support my channel and i'll be back very soon also for the new year i would like for you to guys to drop in the comment se section what kind of videos you would like to see more in the new year because I'm doing loads of topics and loads of things but I just want to see you guys I just want to know what you guys want to see the most yeah. thanks for watching I'll see you guys very soon bye Bambadio. 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 Ah.